Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and today we're going to be talking about activities to do inside when it's just too cold to go outside and your kids are a little wiggly. We all know the feeling. So first, if it's your first time here, welcome. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notifications every time I post a brand new video. We also have a brand new growing community of moms just like you over on Facebook. If you would like to come and join us, there is a link down in the description. Okay, so let's talk about what we have been doing. I have older kids, so I know a lot of you are kind of mixed with, with the age ranges here. Some of these you can make work for older kids, some of you can make it work for younger kids. Do what you can to adapt these, see if you can glean some things from some of the things that we're doing this year. So first, the last couple years my kids have really been into this air dry clay. This is not the stuff that you put in the oven. This stuff literally dries on its own. We've been buying it in bulk. <laughs> My kids constantly are playing with this stuff. It's kind of like Play-Doh for older kids, which is great because it's really no mess, no fuss. It does not really get into the carpet. I'll leave a link down below to the stuff that we use. It's relatively cheap. Most of the time we were buying these boxes that had like 30 colors in them and it had about this much. It was like a tiny little, tiny, tiny little bag, but they typically used these two colors, white and black, more than any other when they were making things. So we buy these in bulk and then we buy in the boxes, the, the, um, the color boxes, all of the other colors of the rainbow so they have a whole bunch of colors and tools and things to make whatever they want. They make everything from action heroes to pretend food. You would not even believe some of the things they come up with. Okay, so the next, when they're a little bit wiggly and you just need to get some energy out, try some at-home workouts. There's tons of these online on YouTube and I have a Beachbody, um, I think it's called BOD, um, Beachbody On Demand. I have that hooked up to our TV and it's it's great. I use it in the morning for myself before the kids get up because I, I really like working out. Um, but they have some on there that I believe are for kids and adults together. And if you have teenagers, this is also a great way to get out some energy. Move the furniture if you need to, you can move it back. I do it all the time. I push out the furniture and you know, they get out some energy. Have them start doing some jumping jacks, some, you know, trust me, it will get out the wiggles really quick with those older kids. And it's a great way for them to really, you know, work on those PE credits <laughs> that are so hard sometimes for us to figure out what to do. That's one of the ways that you can do that. Now, when it's warmer outside, you know, we'll go outside and we'll, you know, we'll jog around the neighborhood. We'll do, you know, circuit training out back in the backyard. But when it's just too cold for that type of stuff. And right now we don't have the, the snow, we're getting rain. It is pouring outside, which is why the lighting is so bad in here right now. So sorry about that. But with the soggy ground, it's just not working. It's just too cold. So try some of that. Try some at home workouts. There's tons of them for free online. Try those. And if you have a Beachbody subscription or if you're thinking about getting one, I really enjoy mine. I pay, I think $40 once a quarter or something for it. I'm not a coach. I just enjoy working out. So take that for what it's worth. Okay. Number three, a new book series. My youngest, or my youngest, Jacob, he is into the wing feather saga. I don't know if you are not. Huh, yeah. Wing feather, wing feather saga. I was making sure I was saying that correctly. I have not actually read these books yet, but they were recommended by a very trusted friend of ours. And he is really into these. I was really surprised how quick my my youngest picked this up. So he started with book one. He is just eating through that book. So luckily I have book two already. I believe there's four in the series. Try try this one on audiobook. I have the audiobook. He listened to the first couple chapters and then he was like, I really want the actual book. So I bought the book on Amazon and he is just loving it. Try out a new book series, even if you have to do a read aloud. It might be a great way to just get some extra 
get some extra time on the couch, but at the same time spending some time together. And if you don't want to read, try the audiobook and just turn the audiobook on. I love I really, really enjoy the audiobook version of this. I was listening to it myself in the kitchen. Okay, so next, try a game, <laughs> try a new game. We have been getting all kinds of new games lately, but for indoor fun, if you need to burn a little bit of energy, try something like Twister. You're gonna be able to find that pretty cheap online because it's an old classic game, and it's gonna be one of those games that gets them up, gets them moving, gets their blood flowing, and burns a little bit of energy. So number five, cooking. <laughs> try cooking. We have been cooking a lot this year, I have noticed. I think more than any other year, me and the boys have been cooking a lot. So it's, it's in our, uh, my father's world curriculum, but we noticed that this year, even apart from the curriculum, we have just been cooking more together as a family in the kitchen. And yes, boys like to cook. My boys are very like boy, boy, but they like to help cook and bake. And I find that when I can get them in the kitchen and get them cooking, they are much more likely to try and like whatever it is that is put in front of them. So get your kids in the kitchen, make a mess. You can clean it up, have them clean it up. <laughs> go, go make something fun in the kitchen. One of the websites we've been using a lot of this year is natashaskitchen.com. I am such a huge fan of Natasha's Kitchen. She is such a great cook. Everything on her website is just an instant hit in my house. I'm not, I'm not an affiliate of hers. I don't know her, but I want to be her friend so much. Everything that she makes, my kids just go completely crazy over. Get a new cookbook even. We have several new cookbooks this year. I got a couple of the Pioneer Woman cookbooks. We love the Pioneer Woman. We watch her show a lot to get ideas for things to cook. Try cooking with your kids. You would be surprised how much fun it can actually be once you overlook the mess. <laughs> so next, try some painting online. I have been doing new painting classes. I actually got a new painting book for my birthday recently that I really like. Try some different types of painting classes and courses. There are all kinds of things that you can do with um, free painting tutorials on YouTube. And there's also paid ones on different websites like Yellow Spot Sun. And there are other ones on OutSchool, I believe is one of the resources that we've used before. There's so many different resources out there, especially for painting. Try painting, it's cheap, especially if you go watercolor or acrylic, and you can get the supplies really, really easy, cheaply. Uh, you know, you can find anything you want on Amazon anymore and it'll be delivered straight away and it's a great way to learn a new skill. Plus, it's kind of a quiet activity too. So those are always a plus. <laughs> Next, do some dancing. I don't care how old your kids are. If you just put on some music, there are some kids who will just go crazy and burn some calories. It's a great way to do that. Plus, it's such a mood lifter. I don't know if you live in a part of the country like I used to, but one of the places that I used to live, wintertime was really depressing because you wouldn't see the sun for months and it could get really, really depressing really quick. Um, I mean, I've noticed that I've been a little bit bluer just because the sun hasn't been out and I miss the sun. Oh, I miss the sun so much. Tell me, if what has the weather been like where you are at? Is it like that where you are? It's been weeks, it feels like, since I've seen the sun. All we see are mud puddles right now, and we kind of miss it. So, you know, one of the things that I did to kind of lift the mood, I left our Christmas lights up because it just adds a little bit more sparkle inside, and it just makes it feel so much nicer. I actually also installed a new glass storm door from Lowe's, and I have been opening up the storm door and or I've been opening up our main door and letting the storm door just let the light flood through our house and it just it's such a mood lifter. <laughs> put out some of your old Christmas lights. Take the Christmas lights out and put them up. I'm telling you it is such a mood lifter. Put on some music and your kids will dance. It is so great. If you want some great music too, 
I am a huge fan of Keith and Kristen Getty. The Gettys are awesome. If you have not listened to them, they are modern hymn writers and singers, and they do modern hymn writing, and they also sing tons and tons of the classics. Such a great, great album. I love all of their sing albums. Go check them out. Okay, so some of the last ones I wanna mention air hockey indoor air hockey we got we got our kids last year for christmas an indoor air hockey machine if you don't have one of these it's such a good thing to have 50 dollars, guys and you guys can find a indoor air hockey table and it's perfect for just two players on the floor and you know we all take turns and we all play each other it is so much fun go get an indoor air hockey table for the the mini version. I'm not talking about the big one that you need like a basement for. I'm talking about like the little mini versions. These things are so much fun. Now they're a little bit noisy and sometimes we have to have the kids like go in their bedroom and shut the door because our house is a little bit small, but it was so worth the investment. And it's one of those things that like, it's great for the winter time, especially if they're just not in the mood for a board game air hockey is a fun one plus because they're moving around so much kind of tires them out a little bit it's great and the last one i would say is go to the dollar store seriously i don't know what it is about the dollar store but kids love the dollar store i don't care how old the kid is most of them love going to the dollar store we find all kinds of dollar store crafts to do on youtube and we do dollar store crafts we do dollar store decorating. We decorated for Valentine's Day with dollar store crafts this year. I have been picking out things for springtime to do. This is such a fun activity with kids of all ages, including teenagers. So there's about nine ideas for you for the winter time. I hope that this helps you guys maybe get out of the little winter blues, winter funk that's kind of going around. I know what it's like, trust me. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. It's about a month before spring and I'm so ready. Are you ready for spring? I'm so ready for spring. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you would like to join our growing community of homeschool parents, there is a link down below. I also have my Instagram handle and if you want a freebie for homeschooling resources, there is also a link down below for you. I have all kinds of things down there and it's in the description to help you out. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. I will see you in the next video. Happy homeschooling.